Hello and welcome to VersaVision TV, sponsored by Versatron. Once again, I'm your host, R.W. Tull. Today we would like to discuss our new HDMI to fiber optic installation kits, which are part of our VersaVision series of products. The HDMI transmitter and receiver system supports one channel of high definition HDMI, one channel of 10100 base Ethernet, and USB mouse and keyboard control over one strand of single mode fiber. These units are fully compliant with all video resolutions from 640 by 480 to 1080p, therefore ensuring the highest performance for most HDMI video applications. A typical installation utilizes a transmitter unit at the video source end of the link, connected via fiber optic cable to a receiver unit at the monitoring end. There are basically two types of HDMI applications, which are cascading and point-to-point. -point. So to illustrate these further, I think it would be best to use a couple of real-world examples. So first, let's take a look at a basic point-to-point -point application. So here we have a basic PC or notebook computer where we want to convert the HDMI signal it provides to fiber optic. First, we connect the HDMI output from the PC to the HDMI interface on the transmitter using the HDMI cable. Next, we connect the HDMI interface on the receiver to the HDMI monitor using the HDMI cable. So now let's move to our wiring diagram for a moment because I want to explain how you can connect the Ethernet as well as the keyboard and mouse control. An advantage of working with our HDMI to fiber devices is that you can extend your Ethernet signal to a remote location if you so choose. Once this is accomplished, you can log into the transmitter and receiver units and assign them both unique IP addresses. As you can see here on the left side of the diagram, we have the transmitter unit. So we've already connected the HDMI so now we need to connect the Ethernet cable from the network connection point to the RJ45 port on the transmitter. Also, we would connect the RJ45 port on the receiver to the RJ45 port on the remote PC using an Ethernet cable, as you can see on the right side of this diagram. Next, we connect the USB port on the transmitter to the USB port on the PC. Also, we would connect one of the USB ports on the receiver to the keyboard and the other to the mouse. Finally, to make the link operational, we connect a fiber optic cable between the transmitter and receiver. This completes the basic HDMI point-to-point -point link. Now I want to take a moment and discuss the cascading application. So expanding on what we just talked about with the point-to-point -point application, cascading is interesting because it allows you to send the same HDMI source signal to multiple monitoring locations using fiber. In the situation presented in the diagram, you have four HDMI displays that need to accept a signal. Therefore, you simply place a receiver unit at each display and daisy chain the single mode fiber from the first receiver to the other three. You would then connect your Ethernet and USB cables for each device in the same way as explained in the point-to-point -point illustration. So those are the two HDMI applications. This will conclude our introduction to the VersaVision HDMI to fiber optic installation kits. I should note that like our other VersaVision video kits, these HDMI kits are also shipped with 100 meters of fiber, in this case, single mode fiber, at no extra cost. For more information on these or any other Versatron products, please visit our website or contact us directly. We would always be delighted to speak with you regarding your application. Thank you once again for joining me in this latest presentation of VersaVision TV. And remember, 
The greatest danger for most of us is not that our aim is too high and we miss it, but that it's too low and we reach it.